Did you know that the idols of Arnold Schwarzenegger were Soviet weightlifters? Hello comrades, welcome to the channel Red Russians, the channel about everything Russian. In this video I'll tell you about the top 10 Russian characters in the movies. Number 10. Our list opens Viga Tarasov, the main antagonist of the film John Wick. He is the leader of the Russian Mafia Syndicate in New York, a former employer and later an enemy of John Wick. Wigger's son, Josef Tarasov, kills John Wick's dog and steals his car, which is the starting point for the plot's development. Wigger Tarasov is an intelligent and dangerous opponent. He is a master of the Soviet martial art Sambo and always has an Italian stiletto with him. The role of Uyghur was performed by Swedish actor Mikhail Nyquist. Interesting details. In the film, Uyghur Tarasov and his son sing Russian lullaby song Bayu Bayushki Bayu and the nickname of John Wick, Baba Yaga, in Russian folklore and fairy tales denotes an old woman and sorceress. Number 9. Lev Andropov Astronaut Lev Andropov, performed by Peter Stormare, is a character of the 1998 disaster movie Armageddon. Colonel Lev Andropov remembered for safely staying on duty for a year and a half, alone at the Russian orbital station Mir. Then the Americans arrive and destroy the entire station in an hour. In addition, at the end of the film, it was due to him the shuttle could fly off the asteroid. In general, the character of Lev Andropov is a typical set of clichés and ideas about the Russian man. He wears a classic Ushanka hat and a t-shirt with a red star, and his surname is clearly taken from Yuri Andropov, who headed the Soviet KGB for 15 years and later became the head of the USSR. Number 8. Nikolai Luzhin The main character of the 2007 movie Eastern Promises, Nikolai Luzhin, like Vigo Tarasov in John Wick, is a representative of the criminal world. The performer of the role of Nikolai, the actor Viga Mortensen, devoted a lot of time to learning the Russian language, communicated with the real natives of the Russian criminal world and also traveled around Russia. Many experts note a good level of knowledge of the Russian language from Viga Mortensen. Nikolai Luzhin, as befits a Russian criminal authority, has many tattoos. In total, the hero of Viga Mortensen has several dozen tattoos. Almost daily they were tattooed to the body of the actor for more than four hours. Often Viga didn't wash off the tattoos after the filming day to saving time and walk around the city with them, which was very surprising to acquaintance. Number 7. Ivan Vanko, who also known as a whiplash. A Russian engineer and physicist sworn to take revenge on Iron Man and the Stark family for his father and his life in poverty. Ivan's father, Anton Vanko, was a Russian physicist who fled from the USSR to the United States in 1963 and started working with Howard Stark. But already in 1967, Wanka was declared an industrial spy and sent back to the USSR. His son Ivan Wanka, also a physicist, was accused of selling plutonium to Pakistan and spent 15 years in the prison camp. According to the old technical drawings of his father, he built an exoskeleton with manual energy whips and an arc reactor like Iron Man to kill Tony Stark. The role of Ivan Vanka was performed by Mickey Rourke. In preparation for filming, Mickey Rourke visited Butyrka prison in Moscow and communicated with real Russian criminals. As in the case of Vigo Mortensen, makeup artist made him some Russian criminal tattoos. Number 6. Evelyn Salt or Natasha Chenkova The heroine of Angelina Jolie in the eponymous 2010's movie Salt is a special agent of the CIA. 
but in the process of watching, we find out that in fact she was deep cover agent of the Soviet KGB. Also Salt was trained in special KGB camp as a child. Number 5. Pavel Chekhov Pavel Chekhov is a Russian character in the science fiction television series Star Trek The Original Series and feature films Star Trek. The first actor who performed the role of Pavel Chekhov was Walter Koenig and in three feature films from 2009 to 2016 Pavel Chekhov was an American film actor of Russian origin Anton Yelchin. Anton introduced the viewers Chekhov as a 17-year-old wunderkind, whose mathematical abilities have repeatedly rescued the Enterprise. Number 4. Yuri Arulov from the movie Lord of War. He is of USSR descent, who became one of the world's largest illegal arms dealers. The role of Yuri was performed by Nicolas Cage. Interesting facts. The film crew acquired 3000 combat Czechoslovakian assault rifles VZ-58, which played the role of Soviet AK, because it was much cheaper to use these assault rifles than to buy dummy replica. In the film, we used real tanks, formerly owned by Czech army and intended for sale in Libya. The film crew had to warn NATO just to be on the safe side so that they wouldn't think, having discovered from the satellites a large accumulation of military equipment, as if a war had begun. It's believed that the prototypes of the Yuri Arlov are several arms dealers, including Victor Booth. Moreover, according to rumors, Victor Booth even provided his aircrafts for filming. Number 3. Natasha Romanoff The biography of the character played by Scarlett Johansson in the movie is somewhat different from the biography of the original comic book heroine, but the main thing remains invariable. Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, the agent of the SHIELD agency and the top secret agent of the KGB in the past. Natasha was born in the Soviet city Volgograd. She is a master of martial arts and other espionage skills. Number 2. Ivan Drago and Red Scorpion On the second place are straight two roles of Russian heroes performed by actor Dolph Lundgren. Ivan Drago, the character of the movie Rocky IV, revival of Rocky Balboa. On the film, Ivan Draga, gold medalist of the Summer Olympic Games in 1980 and the USR champion in boxing, he had a punch yielding over 1800 psi, while the punch of the average heavyweight boxer is 700 psi. Draga is also a captain of the Soviet Army and, as can be seen from the insignia on his chest, is also a hero of the Soviet Union. Draga trains daily to be an unbeaten fighter. His average rhythm of heartbeat and his punching power are constantly measured by a computer. The image of Ivan Draga was designed to symbolize Americans' perception of the USSR, huge, powerful and without emotions. Draga's laconic retorts, if he dies, he dies and I must break you, have become one of the most famous quotes from the whole film series about Rocky and are still often quoted in the mass culture. Sylvester Stallone, as the director of Rocky IV, persuaded Lundgren to fight real and seriously, that the fightings in the movie seemed more realistic. Dolph refused for a long time, but then he agreed. After the fight, Stallone had to be taken to the hospital with two broken ribs and the filming was stopped. This is not surprising, because Dolph Lundgren in his youth seriously engaged in martial arts. In 1989, Dolph Lundgren again performed the role of the Russian in the film Red Scorpion. Nikolai Rachenko, one of the best commanders of the USSR, sent to African country to fight the insurgents. In the course of action, Nikolai goes over to the side of enemy and begins to fight against his former mates. 
the bushman who found Nikolai wounded in the desert and whom he had become friends with, made him a tattoo of a hunter in the form of a red scorpion on his chest, which gave the film its name. Number 1. Ivan Danko Ivan Danko is a hero of the 1988's movie Red Heat. This role was performed by Arnold Schwarzenegger, captain of the Soviet militia. Ivan Danko arrives in Chicago and together with the surgeon of American police Ridzik, catch the dangerous bandit Victor Rost. What is good about Ivan Danko? He is an honest and absolutely uncompromising fighter against crime. He is always calm and taciturn and has incredible power. Despite their formidable appearance, Ivan Danko is a very good friend. In addition, Ivan Danko has the world's best Soviet pistol, but bearing 9.2 mm. This gun was invented specifically for shooting in the film, and its basis was taken from Desert Eagle. By the way, during the filming in Moscow, Arnold Schwarzenegger always wanted to meet with the idol of his youth, the Soviet weightlifter Yuri Vlasov. He is the Olympic champion multiple champion of the world, Europe and the USSR. He is athlete who set 31 records in 1961 at the World Weightlifting Championships in Vienna. Vlasov became a gold medalist in heavyweight. In one of the pauses, a 14-year-old newcomer to the athletics was brought to him and asked to say a couple of encouraging words. This lean newcomer was Arnold Schwarzenegger. After it, Vlasov became a real idol for Arnold. And years later, during the filming of Red Heat, Arnold embodied his dream to meet again with his idol. On a picture given by Schwarzenegger to the Russian hero, he wrote to Yuri Vlasov, my idol. Other idols of Arnold are Soviet weightlifters, two-time Olympic champions Vasily Alexeyev and Leonid Jabotinsky. About Yuri Vlasov, Leonid Jabotinsky and Vasily Alexeyev, there will be a video on the channel of Red Russians. This is because all they are people legend of the world scale. At that, today's stop is over. But this is only the first part because Russians still have many many heroes in movies, cartoons and games, which usually are very interesting characters. Subscribe to the channel Red Russians and click the like button. A lot of interesting things ahead.